We always try to use a little bit of humour, more to keep ourselves going, but also to try and make the point in lots of different levels. There was a, a day of action called Carry On Up The Injunction, um, where protesters dressed as Mark Lynch. <laughs> It was, it was basically worth it for the moment where Mark Lynch had to serve injunction papers on several Mark Lynches. It was, it was a particularly good, good moment. Clowning. It was, you know, it was a vicious parody of, of him. The whole farce of being confined, and it was a farce being confined to Grass Verge. Uh, people regularly went up there, and eventually the um, the attitude of the security. Became, you know, it became the level of intimidation was ramped up. Do you want to video the kids? I'm not going to serve the children because of obviously their age, but if you can uh, just yeah. video the uh, kids. And he even handcuffed one demonstrator, which is completely illegal. Jaya, who was assaulted by security guards, who then trumped up a charge against him, which the police immediately bought, and they recommended that he should be remanded. When I went to leave the protest, uh, came across a pile of the court injunctions, which are basically A4 pieces of paper. And I looked at them and picked them up, and then I well, ripped them up. There's no crime in ripping them up, so I ripped them. And then the security suddenly uh, approached me and said, if you rip that anymore, we're going to arrest you. And I thought, well, I'm not actually committing any offence by ripping them, so I ripped them in half. twisting my arms behind my back and trying to put handcuffs on me. If you get a camera out, you're going to get jumped by him and his goons. Jumped. Do you hear that? Arrest me. Unlawful arrest. You haven't got the right to arrest people in that fashion. You have to stand up in court and justify the assault on a member of the public who did nothing. How are you going to do that? Mark Lynch is one, you know, he's obviously one of these people who failed the entrance exam for the police and became a security guard. If you go around the other side, Tone, and just yeah. fucking open the driver's side and get that key out, it's in there. No, driver's side, yeah. Right, Kenneth. <laughs> right just in that hole, that first hole there. There you go. Lovely. Got blood on these ones, mate. Eh? Got blood on these. <laughs> What's with these, then? Is that the hey? locks? Yeah, that's the lock ones, yeah. So, uh... Yeah, well, and what I do, across. That's better, actually. they are, that's actually yeah, they are a lot, lot better, that sort of yeah, yeah, that's there, right, yeah, they are, they're a hell of a lot better, yeah. Yeah, that is yeah. Done it, I've also, yeah. this pepper spray stuff, you can't use, because obviously it's classed as firearms, but they've got one out that they tried at the Nick, which is called Bounce. Alright. comes in a, a black holder. And mm -hmm. it's got the old, um, it's got the coil on it, and it clips on there, and it's proper stuff, and it's bounce. It, it, and right. basically, it's the same stuff, um, but it's not classified as a firearms and that. Oh, Do you yeah. want one? You can have one for nothing, because yeah, I've got some. I'll whip some from the, from the nick to give it a try. Right, when are you, are you in tomorrow?
anything over us? <laughs> no, no. Although technically, I can now because. Yeah, well, because you're on the wrong side of the road. Well, we were being bullied by the police and the security outside either, who were trying to provoke us into. Trying, uh, they were trying to provoke us into violence, they were trying to provoke us into arrestable offences. They weren't letting us film what they were doing. So what happened was we we took the campaign into town. We brought the campaign into the centre of town.